There's no better feeling than going in your backyard and picking fresh fruits and vegetables that you can eat and set down on the dinner plate. But being self-sufficient takes continual work every day towards the overall goal. Another long day. Tomatoes are growing pretty good. We're trying to get them to grow up onto our trellis right here. And uh, this one's already reached the trellis, which is a blessing. So we've gotten our first two tomatoes. We got one little bitty one there. We got one little bitty one right there. Everything else is doing really well. You wanna look at the corn? Here's our corn. It might be planted a little close, but if we need to thin it out, we will. We don't have any cobs yet though. Our okra, growing pretty well. It's a little bit slower growing than all the other stuff. These are our bell peppers. We've got plenty of flowers. Now we're growing our bell peppers right in here with our tomatoes. The tomatoes we plan on growing up our trellis. And then these peppers won't be quite as tall. So we got plenty of flowers. Hopefully we'll get some nice good sized peppers on these. Now, we planted indeterminate tomatoes because we'll get fruit from them all year rather than determinate where they'll have one big bumper crop and then they won't really produce after that and then these are our just sweet hybrid peppers we're growing squash is coming up nicely leaves are getting bigger um, some of them are almost the size of my hand almost not quite and then our cucumbers Two different varieties of those. These are the tasty greens. And then these are called the straight eight. Those two we think got a little bit of fertilizer burn on them. But they're still doing fine. We're growing lettuce. We started a little late in the year for lettuce. But we wanted to have some nice greens that we could eat. So we're growing our just regular old lettuce. And then we have our spring mixture lettuce over here. With all the frilly leaves. And our carrots which we still have to thin out. But we're going to let them develop and see which ones like these will be the ones we'll keep our radishes they're just exploding out of the box some of them have nice sized balls already on them we need to thin these out as well you can eat the greens on these and then our onions i think we have 11 onions in here which should be plenty for the whole year if you like this video and want to see more make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button every like really does help are doing really well. and just post in the comment section how your garden's doing or if you have any suggestions for things i could do differently in my garden now we do have our first pepper finally so we got one little bitty pepper right over here hard to see but that's a pepper right right there so that's exciting First little tomatoes right here and right there. Yay.